What does it take to really excel at this business? I believe it begins with an understanding and a recognition that it is a business. That's why we call our annual workshop the Business Breakthrough. And once you understand and recognize that you own and run a business, it's an understanding of why you own and run a business. What's the purpose? And you know, the purpose is to make a profit so that you can make a difference. Because if you never make a profit, it's really rare that you'll make much of a difference. You know, Floyd used to joke all the time and say, most of us are just not even qualified to do much else besides real estate. Well, I don't believe that because I, I know hardworking people who are very smart. And I think those are two of the three ingredients that if you put them together with this third ingredient, that's how you really excel at real estate. Hard work, yes, because without hard work, you know, we work long hours and also smart work. In other words, you've got to be smart with your time, smart with your resources, smart with your relationships and smart with your business. But there's a third ingredient that really propels a business to the highest levels, and that's inspiration. It's not just hard work or smart work that makes you excel. It's inspired work. And where do you get inspiration? Because when you're working in your business, it's really tough to get motivated. That's why we say leave home and come to Nashville for a couple days. It's not an extravaganza or a big showbiz event. Nashville's showbiz. So if you want showbiz, go out at night. You'll find plenty of it. But what we do is for two days, we workshop. And once you leave home and get out of that environment and talk to the people who are there and soak up their wisdom and their knowledge and their experience and their generosity and their example, it's inspiring. And that's how you go back to your place of work not only ready to put in the hours and do it the smart way, but also by being inspired. I've been working for 14 years to collect the best ways to generate listing leads without having to pay for them. And that's outside of your book of business. You should take a clue though, from what's going on in the lives of the people in your book of business. Because the best way to generate leads these days is to understand that you've got all these people sitting on two and 3% mortgages who would be discretionary sellers if they could, but they don't want to turn in their two and 3% mortgage for a six or seven or 8% and make a lateral move and pay more per month. Well, you're not going to convince them to do that unless you can do the math and there is math and you will hear it at business breakthrough because it makes sense. But what we're talking about is life transitions. Most of these lead sources for listing prospects that you're going to hear that I've been working on for these at least a dozen years, the how to's, the what to say, the where to find them, the how to find them and how to work them all do with life transitions. You know, people are born every day, people die every day. People move every day from one situation to another. And that's where the real estate ingredient takes place. So when you get to Business Breakthrough, not only will you find inspiring people, but Dawn and Mary and Sheldon and Anna and I are going to share with you, here's what the great ones are doing right now to make their business Excellent. Hope I see you in Nashville.